before you uh, take yeah. a break in the nest, you should look around. Yeah, around you should you. actually look around you. Remember how you, you were talking about that area you couldn't get to? Hmm. Consider where you are physically right now. Like, why... Yeah. On the physical to plane. Were, compared to yeah. where you were beforehand. Yeah, I see. Uh, when you first saw that. And uh, look around you. Yeah, I had an inkling that this would be a drop down to that when I saw the chasm. The ch I'm sorry, the chasm. Shazam. The Shazam. The Shazam. It always but physical. So I didn't see anything home. else up here, so I was thinking about heading down there. You should. Um, Let me see. It's Try fairly jumping. quick, and then you can go back to the nest and Let me take see. a look at that. Well, there you wasn't have anything, a feather, so there wasn't anything in the nest. I can't really leave anything there right now, I don't think. It's, it's not like that. Uh, you'll be able to examine the nest. Okay. <laughs> but I'd say fall down here first. More importantly. Try falling. Trying. The falling was tried. Okay. A precarious footing. Okay. Should be items here. Yeah. There's stuff. It's a scholar's thing that's in the ocean now. Oh! <laughs> Drang Dranglake sword, <laughs> Dranglake shield, male gauntlets, and leggings. Hey! There you go. There. Dranglake sword is uh, pretty nice. What are these guys? Yeah. too bad either. I want to say it's a twinkling titanite weapon, though. Yeah, it is. But, like, unless you've already, you know, pumped your mace up the wow. plus four. It's pretty that's nice. an A-rank dex item. But, okay. yeah, I do... Oh, wow, those stats. 25 strength, 20 dex. Yeah. It's a big sword. Am I just... Oh, it's a great sword. I just noticed yeah, that. Yeah, it's a two-hand. You probably want wow. a two-hand, that thing. What's the Drang Lake shield like? Let me see here. Oh, it's 100% block. Hey. It's also heavy as fuck. Uh, yeah, th it's up three units. I need one more strength. Huh. I'll bear it in mind. I mean, 90... I, you can two-hand the shield. I'm at 90%, I mean, and that's okay. Ah. You could, yes. <laughs> two-hand the shield. Are any of these stats... Let me see here. Which of the... Oh, God. The the stat screen in this game is fucking spaghetti. <laughs> uh, okay, there's the curse. I was trying to make out where the hell it was. Okay, let me see. That is stability. Okay. Okay. I was kind of curious if there was a tangible stat that actually gets into, like, what can cause uh, an enemy's blow to deflect off of it. You know what I mean? I don't know that's that, like a combination I don't know of that's your block really and your though. poise. It's weird. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really it's I don't think really, there's a singular stat for I that. I gotcha. That's what I was worried about. It's okay. The shield's not bad, but you're going to have to buff up and hit the gym if you want to use it. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Turtle, where are you going? <laughs> Turtle. later. Turtle's just walking over to the doorway. You See you later. The, yeah, let's let him do his thing. Yeah. Let's go back up and take a rest. I think his padding is trying to get around to me. Oh, he's there's, got a he's got a jog ahead of him. Yeah. <laughs> so there's nothing at that nest that I saw. Check I don't know. the nest out. Yeah, you, nothing that warm. you saw, but you didn't examine in the RPG Give sense. Give it soft. Right. Hey, buddy. You're, buddy, you're blocking the hall. Come on. That's just rude. He really he's was trying there. to get to you. Oh my god, he's stuck in the doorway. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Okay. Well, I remind you, you don't need You're just going to gonna throw him. things at him, right? I've well, got he does 33 of these. I've got play. 32 of these. I got 31, 30, 29. You're just throwing your garbage at him. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Boo. You, you guys smell cheese? You smell cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a ninja turtle. He's probably <laughs> half cheese anyway. <laughs> he's very lactose tolerant. Loves the cheese. Yeah, so you should be able to examine the nest because that's the your way out of here. Is it? I didn't see anything with Take examine. Take a look! Jib, you're supposed to give nests things that are both warm and soft. Yeah. Are you warm and soft? Well, yes. Well, then <laughs> no, present that's yourself for, that's to for the baby nest. Birds. Oh, okay. I thought I thought there were just two signs. I talked between them. Oh no! I'm having <laughs> deja vu. Don't take me <laughs> to the asylum. Next, I'm gonna tell you the pumper room. <laughs> Are we going back to the asylum again? Oh no. Yes. 
Well, you like I, w- I wish there was a curl up like a ball action, though. <laughs> that would have been wonderful. Well, oh, my back. This place is pretty cool. I like the aesthetic <laughs> of it. I do too. Lost Bastille. Uh, mm. It's a little bit different than you guys will remember. Lost Bastille. Yeah. Yeah. It is a For very one thing, the items in these chests. It is very much a Bastille, isn't it? Her offer it friend is. and short visions of ally. <laughs> yes, they're the also ally not wrong, know. yes. Also, that's totally not a mimic. And you should open that. Yeah, I know. It's right next to a bonfire anyway, so. <laughs> if it eats me, who cares? Two human effigies, that's good. It would be pretty great if from made that a bonfire. And a yeah, dull ember. Mm. Yes! I wonder where that came from. So this used to be, like, way fucking later in the game. Yeah. Like, just give that mm-hmm. to you. four or five areas later in this game. That's uh, kind of nice of them. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you should go back to Mahula and uh, spend all the Flame soul. seems nearly exhausted, but exhibits an eerie resemblance. Perhaps this... Do you remember what they did in the first game? Yeah, take them to Smithers. Well, I wonder what you should do with that. Take them to Grumpus. Hey, there's a summon thing. Grumpalumpagus. <laughs> J.D. Smith, 2795. I'm sorry, I mean, JD. I'm sorry, JD Smith and the Saturday Night Live band. I've got to go back <laughs> to the Jula. Nice reference. I have things there you to go. do. <laughs> summon him and then immediately leave. <laughs> 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 Waste his time. Oh crap! Well, an invasion! So I'm out of here. No, you're not. Dark Souls. Mm-mm. Okay. Bearer of the seek, seek. I'm found. I suggest again a skull gun for your head. Okay, stat. Let me see. <laughs> I can get a few level ups again. Have you figured out the uh, the bearer? Huh? Seek. Seek. Seek Scalus. What? No, that's the third game. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see. I haven't yeah, thought nothing anything. Nothing will ever come back. Eh. Hmm. Nothing ever comes back in this game. Hmm. I'm gonna go with uh, more endurance. Oh, mercy. Unless you want to get your strength up enough to try Level to get the shield up. Level 35? Christ. What was, the, uh, what was that shield strength requirement? Was ah. it 20? Um, one second. I'm surprised I'm already level 30 for crying out loud. You, I mean, you're, you're, it still only costs 25 to level up. The yeah. game does kind of expect you to put a lot yeah, of your Yeah, because I mean, I think I ended levels. Dark Souls 1 around level 60, 70? That was probably low. It'll scale up. Yeah, because I mean, they're quickly. still they're, they're still uh, low right now, cost wise. The the way that I see it, until the game starts costing eight thousand for each level, your eight thousand you know, levels don't cost anything. Let's go with twenty thousand. Yeah. Let me see. So the shield you were talking about? Yeah, I was wondering what the strength requirement. Sixteen. Was on the shield. So just just one more strength. Yeah. So I would put in the strength because you seem to turtle more than you roll. So. <laughs> Bear, turtle, turtle, roll. <laughs> and you also may want to equip your, or increase your equip load. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, part of the reason I'm not rolling too much is I've, outside of getting out of the range of things, I haven't found much use of aiming for iframes. I mean, I know that, like you're saying, it's probably part of that's just agility, but I mean, it's kind of like... You also haven't encountered any bosses that cannot be blocked. Well, so. I mean, the tree dude probably couldn't be blocked. I was just staying out of his range. Pursuer, probably, pursuer, but he was also very slow. Pursuer kind of, although not, not very well. Either way, strength I'm going to eventually have to raise anyway, because that's going to be my bread and butter, I think, damage-wise. Yeah, I mean, like, well, you already have a better shield there, so just get at the one so you can use it. Right. And then just put everything else wherever. Vitality and then just bigger, I guess. Vim and or Vigor. You can get by without upgrading Vim. <laughs> <laughs> it's really only for piss and vinegar, and I don't understand why anyone would want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of whenever I do faith stuff. 
you do have the option of buying the heal spell from the uh, old lady. Yeah. I don't remember what the faith was offhand. Well, I'd need some attunement eventually. You already have one attunement slot, I think. Or actually, no. you don't. It says you I've don't. got zero slots. Oh, so anyway. you would need to do attunement. I've got to at least dump points into this. On the plus side, attunement also raises your agility. A little so, bit. Uh, a little bit. Not as fast as yeah. adaptability does. But I think does. I'm going to have to put several points to attunement right now because, I mean, I want to. It's 9 or 10. It's 9 or 10, yeah. So it's yeah. one or two more points. Okay, because I really want to get at least one slot open at some point. You could uh, squeeze a soul to get one more level. Yeah, you're right. I've got soul a few of those. Squeeze. squeeze them souls. You just spit out the soul pulp. <laughs> the soul. The soul. My god. You need a filter on your juicer for the salt. Oh man, we did this. We did the crush just as I was about to make a don't ever talk to me or my son again about your <laughs> summon sign and your time. I'll fix it and post sign. it. You want? <laughs> I won't. No, no, this is still fine. <laughs> don't talk to me or my soul son ever again. Still, still no slot. Boy, I think it's ten. Yeah. I mean, I could look it up. Nah. But it's, it's almost definitely 10. If it's not 9, it's 10. Oh, fine. I'll type in the thing. Dark Souls 2 wiki. Here we go. I'm pretty sure I have wiki pages up for Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. That's attunement at 10, 13, 16, 20, 25, 30, etc. So yes, 10. Now well, we're about two hours. Is there anything I can do for a couple minutes to wrap it up? I guess I could talk, talk to Smith. To... Uh, you could. What do you want the... You could also explore Majula, because you haven't. I thought I had explored Majula. There's one item you should get in Mahula. Mahula Hula. Let me talk you to... The, let me talk to the Smith. Hey, Smith. Hey, you can ask him about that Ember. Tell me about your daughter. There is one she... item he hasn't gotten, and it's a nice item. Is your daughter a looker? Does she? I hope she doesn't look like you. She, she is like a looker. She doesn't look like him. <laughs> he is undead. <laughs> Indeed. Isn't everybody? She isn't. I think she is, though, just like different. Well, I guess technically everybody is undead. It's on their, you know, ID cards. Blacksmiths can't use embers anymore. He can't. Yes, it turns out. Just keep it as a he never got a certification from the prize. Right. Or he did get the certification from the prize. He was oddly polite in that response there. <laughs> People these days, he says. So, where's this item you were regaling me Okay. Of? Uh, it's going to require some jumping, ironically enough. Um, well, go good back night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> go You're back not even going to uh, try jumping. Yeah. Oh, right. This, this area. Yeah. Okay, where am I? Go back towards uh, the things betwixt entrance where you came from. The gate that's in our viewpoint. Yeah. And uh, try jumping. I'm guessing this is near where all those ghosts were when we first came outside. You're not wrong. So it's going to be hard for me to direct you from the slideshow, but uh, start like near the cliff when you exit Medulla and just kind of follow the cliff and look down. Ah, I might see something. It, if it's the, not near the exit from things betwixt, but it's more towards the Majula area. But ah. there's definitely a cliff you can fall down from in this area, and there's an item. Mm. Yep. So uh, take a look around. Let me see. Unfortunately, I can't really help you because I'm yeah, looking at like really know, bad JPEG know, artifacts I know, here. I, I do see a glowy. There it is. I think it's more see, closer towards the entrance to the... Oh, you got it? Okay. Yeah. It's a good item. Club. Very useful. Very expensive. Very expensive. <laughs> Douglas! <laughs> wow. A morning star. <laughs> cleric sacred chime. Huh. Is that a caster thing? Is. Uh, the miracles. sacred chime is, is and the morning star is actually a blunt weapon, which is nice. But well, those weren't the ones I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, binoculars. Actually. There you go. Why those are what I was looking for. Oh man, <laughs> nice. You have found the binoculars. Yeah, so morning star is mace, but weaker, but it has bleeding. Uh, Claire of chime is a faith weapon or a faith charm or whatever the hell you want to call it, a casting thing for Catalyst. faith people. Yeah, that's how it's done. And uh, binoculars are, of course. 
great things to look at. Real looker ahead. We should go peep some stuff for a minute or two. We're go on. take go go peep shack. Yeah, I was I gonna say we should at least peep the shack. Believe they are <laughs> actually an equip like weapon equip in this game. Yeah. They're not a weapon. I thought they were a usable item like uh, S. Wow, says. it is a weapon. Oh really? Wow. wow. Yep. Never mind then. Yep. They were made back into a usable item in three, I believe. They decided that was a bad move. <laughs> go go peep shack. The perfect way to end it. Mind your way. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Anyway, these are useful because you can line up a shot, for example, with the binoculars, yes. <laughs> switch to like a, a spell, and then cast the spell. I find it weird because you're mentioning lining up a shot, and I'm in the middle of watching Golgo 13. <laughs> <laughs> That, an that, that, that anime is terrible about distances. Like, oh, he made a shot from 500 meters. And it zooms out, and it's like, that's about 100 feet, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and he needed a scope. That far. <laughs> yeah, well, well, they also, man, Cad, you don't look too good up close. Flat, <laughs> flat texture. Don't talk about Shaq like that. He has four <laughs> MVPs. <laughs> Made a shot from 300 yards. Nobody could do that. Listen, Shaq could barely Kazam, make a free though. throw. Man, Shaq, you were... <laughs> I didn't notice Shaq's legs. <laughs> Just lazing off the side of the table. Mm -hmm. Yep. As cats do. Me, most of today. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, next time, I think we'll go to uh, Hyde's Tower? Yeah, I think that's the way to go here. Might be, yeah. Might but as well. Let me see, was there anybody else I wanted to pee at? Uh, you can go into your house. I think the dude should be there now, if you want to talk oh, to him. Oh, Kale. Yeah, you can order kale. a salad if you'd like. It'd be more expensive than you expect. I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> I don't see him Kane here. Kane or Kale? Kale. Hurrah for pointless. <laughs> I don't see him there. in here. Unless he's He's elsewhere. down he's below, in he's there. in the basement. Ah. Oh. Remember, he likes maps. <laughs> I can't tell exactly without looking at it a little more closely, but it looks like the binoculars are a little too comically large. Yeah. They are. They're they they have Legend of Zelda items. Hey, Kale. Syndrome. What are you doing in my house, Kale? <laughs> 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 this is my house now. You gave it's this free, to me, Kale. It's a free house. <laughs> You've made it. I'm going to have to kick you out. The map, I presume. You the gotta map, pay rent. It's expensive here. Of course. Of course. Take, Take a good look. This abandoned town. One of the houses here is owned by a cat. I'm pretty sure oh. that cat does not have gainful employment. Oh, so it does light up with the bonfires. I, I, yes. Yeah. That's yep. probably I, something I, you should pay attention to. I know in the bosses. beginning y'all mentioned this is a map of bonfires. I didn't know they lit up. Not I'm... bonfires, exactly. Oh. Yeah, it's something else, but uh, if map. you kind of look more at where that flame is, it, it looks kind of like the coastline of... Uh, where the forest of the Fallen Giants oh. was. Oh, explains it. And if you kind of look around, you can kind of see where Majula is. But there is something greatly you can interpolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he says, you the, he says the flame wasn't on. on the internet. He said the flame wasn't on when he got here. I, mi I mi yeah. might have misread the line. but yeah. So when he much. got here, you hadn't uh, done things yeah. yet. You hadn't done the needful yet. I would not venture far into that hole. It was blocked by a wall. Anyway, what's going to happen is you're going to have a fire alarm in your basement at some point. And, uh, Caused by skeletons. <laughs> the fire marshal just checks off a box on his clipboard. That was weird. As you said again. that, a blood stain and a sign appeared right on top <laughs> yeah, yeah. of the on fire. I see. Yeah, we actually got a good look at that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, he's repeating. Yep. He does that a lot. Honestly, I feel like his conversation pretty much just stops here. He says stuff way later, I believe. Like, way, way later. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Good binoculars. Now you can peep on people. Get that peeping on. Creep. <laughs> <laughs> Creep. It's weird that they hide them like that in this game. Like, they, they were sort yeah. of out of the way in Dark Souls 1, but not in the same way they are in this game. They're not exactly out of the way. If you know they're there, they're really easy to get yeah, early but on. If just, you know that they're there yeah, is the key word. You have to here. explore. I, but I feel I that's kind of how it is for like most that's of the game. Explore as much as know that there's an edge on that cliff that you can fall down. 
<laughs> yeah, but it's the same way with like the white soapstone. I mean, <laughs> you have to talk to him after talk to Pate after going through that whole gauntlet. Mm -hmm. And I feel like earlier in oh, Dark Souls, that's one, not they the just Emerald Maiden. Yeah. <laughs> Harold. There's slideshow. Won't pick this up, viewer, but you'll see it all. <laughs> <laughs> all of it. We're we're getting some of that. You're gonna learn to hate those statues. Yes, you will. Probably will. Probably will. <laughs> statues are jerks. They are jerks, but not for a long, long time. Jeff, don't use the binoculars to look at the sun. That's a terrible idea. I think it's a wonderful idea, and we're gonna end on this. <laughs> there you go. That's a wallpaper. My beautiful binocular wallpaper. Mm-hmm. Really makes you think. <laughs> Can I kill the sun? <laughs> we did that last it. game. Yeah, I've been there, done that. Oh well, I think that good? about does it then. Yeah. Yeah. I died a lot. You sure did. But we got through the forest.